Hello everyone, welcome back once again. This is a small announcement on the new AWS batch I'm planning to start from 5th September and the timing is morning 8.30 to 10 o'clock. So in this training, I'm primarily focusing on administration, which is SysOps administrator and architect associate trainings. Okay? And you guys can join the WhatsApp group mentioned here and use this WebEx link to join the initial few demos on uh, 5th September morning 8 30 and i will see the course content in a bit okay if you have any questions you can drop me a note or you can call me or whatsapp me for any questions right and training schedule is monday to saturday right roughly around two to two and a half months that i need to cover the content and the prerequisites as i mentioned it's, uh, windows or linux administration skills will be an added advantage also, if you have some virtualization skills like VMware or Hyper-V or any sort of Nutanix ex uh, administration experience, will always help you in understanding the cloud better, right? And uh, the fees, as I mentioned, it's 12,000 uh, you that you can pay in two installments, right? And you have some of these demos of updated here and more demos you can watch it on my channel right, that are uploaded and the previous demos also are there here so you can refer a few de demos and uh, make take out some time and uh, view them and also a full vmware virtualization course is uploaded as a prerequisite if you have some time you can refer those things let me quickly share the course content what we are going to cover as i mentioned it's going to be uh say so <clears throat> sysops administrator and architect associate these are the two trainings i'm uh, these are the two certification courses i'm trying to combine and uh, try to cover within these uh, 40 to 45 days of uh, training and roughly i would need uh, 50 to 60 hours if i look at the number of hours okay as a content and we'll start with very basic administration what is cloud and specifically aws what all the services how uh, you will utilize those services in your day day in day out okay and as a prerequisite what all the services that are hosted in aws across the globe we'll try and understand briefly and then we will focus on networking so uh, and then we'll jump on to computing and the networking how we will set up the your landing zone or network infrastructure for your for your project or an organization at the very beginning level and how you will secure that environment going forward how you will provide the high availability dr solutions within the aws how you can set those solutions for your customers that we will try and focus on the networking side and compute your storage and as well as your ec2 that we will try and discuss on this and then we'll talk about high availability and scalability how you will de derive or define the solutions which are scalable and highly available within the aws using the services that are available right and in terms of day-to-day -day operations how you can utilize your systems manager to uh, administer your services which are hosted in aws using your systems manager and we'll talk about storage Okay. So the storage which we're talking about EC2 is different and the storage which we're talking about S3 is totally different. So this this is entirely object different storage or cloud storage or object storage, I'll, I'll call it as. So we'll try and discuss that. And then we'll talk about databases. Okay. So what all the SQL and NoSQL databases that AWS offers to the customers and how you can use them in your day in, day out, that we will try and see. And Monitoring and reporting in terms of your day-to-day -day operations, how you will set up a monitoring and any exceptions that are uh, recorded, how you will report them back to the customers in day in, day out, that we will try and see in this section. And security, what all the services that you will use in order to provide the security to uh, your your uh, hosted services within the AWS using IAM or maybe WAV or maybe single sign-on or your uh, uh, workspaces and other stuff or, uh, will use and how you can manage those things within the AWS that we will cover in the security part. Then we'll talk about microservices, uh, your Docker uh, and then your EKs and ECS, how you can use those services and run your microservices world within the AWS that we will try and cover. And migration, how we will migrate the servers or applications or databases from your on-premise to AWS using the inbuilt services within the AWS. Uh, earlier, we used to call it as 
Cloud Endure that is now uh, incorporated as an inbuilt tool. Okay, I will use inbuilt uh, tool MGN to migrate the servers or services from on-premise to AWS, right? And we'll focus some time on developer tools, your CA, CD, your code build, code commit, right? And code deploy tools within the AWS, how you can use them to automate the deployments within the AWS that we will see. And automation, when it comes to automation, we will primarily focus on two things. One is your uh, cloud formation templates, other one is your te Terraform. So these are the two things we will focus and see how we can automate the deployments within the AWS that we will cover in this section. And Finally, we'll see the end of all the day-to-day -day operations that you will perform. Let's say if you are quoting 40 hours of your week, how you will spend your week in AWS, okay, what all the day-to-day -day operations that you will perform when it comes to uh, architecting or designing something that's a low-level or high-level design, what all the things that you need to consider in order to deploy a solution in AWS and how you will spend your 40 hours within the AWS architect space so that we will try and cover at this level so more of a theoretical but uh, we'll see uh, how we can cover that off at the end right so this is overall course content which i'm planning to cover in 45 days to uh, 40 to 45 days and roughly around 50 to 60 hours of time so i'll see you on 5th september okay and thanks for your time yeah